Mending the grain, what do we mean by that? Lindsay's already talked about at the beginning of his presentation, looking at the historic grain and the historic fabric of Presswich. So building upon that, we start to create these positive connections, linking through the master plan and also going beyond the red line. So for example, reinstating Poppy Thorn Lane as a really positive connection through the master plan. Creating new gateways, new vistas, new positive gateways into a master plan, filling in negative gap sites and creative pos creating positive legible frontages uh, within and around the master plan and drawing you into a, a new village square at the heart, the new beating heart of the master plan or the new beating heart of, of Presswich Village. Next slide. In order to do that and to create places for people, pedestrian first places within the master plan, one of the fundamental moves to unlock all of that is potentially the de-engineering of Rectory Lane or removing the car from within the heart of the master plan and creating a, um, a consolidated car park in the area of, in purple, just off, uh, off Fairfax. If we can do that, if we can manage to remove the car from the core of the master plan, it allows us to potentially start to relook at Rectory Lane as a de-engineered solution. What do I mean by de-engineered solution? Rectory Lane at the moment is probably 20% pedestrian, 80% car. It is vehicle, vehicle heavy. What we want to do is to invert that and make it less about the car and more about the pedestrian. So it becomes 80% pedestrian or cyclist and 20% car. In doing so, we create people first places, people first streets, and it allows us to create activity and positive frontage around Rectory Lane, both into and out of the master plan. What that also does is it starts to set up a dialogue with, um, with the existing primary school, St Mary's, and creating more positive environment and permeability to and from the primary school, and also to and from the communities that exist around the red edge of the master plan. One final thing I'd like to mention with, in regards to the de-engineer of Rectory Lane is also the possibility of relooking at the TFGM car park, potentially taking the car park away from there, leaving, leaving of course, taxi drop-off, disabled parking, but to reduce the car parking in and around that area and create a new sense of arrival, a new public park, um, the ideas of which we are, we, we've not yet developed, but could be quite spectacular, a, a sense of arrival, both arriving and leaving Presswich Village on the tram. Next slide. So within the master plan, giving everything back to the street, that as architects, when we're looking at regeneration is almost rule number one, to give everything back to the street. What I mean by that is creating active edges wherever we can around the street so that there's a pedestrian using and experiencing the street, it feels active and positive. The colors that we've used here are starting to show that in the red, we have a strong retail frontage, setting up a relationship with Berry New Road, looking at the permeability coming from east to west from the master, into the master plan from Berry New Road and bringing retail into the master plan from that edge and creating a strong retail core. In the blue that you can see on the east of the master plan, sorry, on the west of the master plan, that denotes a residential frontage. Now, of course, that residential frontage on key corners and key gateways may well also be populated with retail, retail uses, F&B uses, but predominantly the uses in and around that edge, we see them as being residential to allow for a more com community focused and retail focused edge and core to the master plan coming in from Berry New Road. 